हाउ यू एवर वर्क ऑन मैक्रो प्रोग्रामिंग इफ नॉट लेट स्टार्ट नाउ मैक्रो प्रोग्रामिंग इज फन सम पीपल कॉल इट अस वेरिएबल प्रोग्रामिंग एंड सम पैरामेट्रिक प्रोग्रामिंग फैनू कॉल इट अस कस्टम मैक्रो ए मैक्रो प्रोग्राम कैन बी हेल्पफुल फॉर मेकिंग प्रोग्राम फॉर फैमिली ऑफ पार्ट इट कैन बी यूज वे लॉर्ड ऑफ कैलकुलेशन आर इन नॉर्ड यू कैन ऑल्सो मेक कस्टम साइकिल्स टू परफॉर्म टू पॉइंट फाइव डी टू थ्री डी प्रोफाइल बट अ वेड ऑफ कॉशन सिंस अ मैक्रो प्रोग्राम कैन मेक चेंजेस इन पैरामीटर्स ऑफसेट एक्सेट्रा बिफोर स्टार्टिंग टू यूज प्लीज रिमेंबर टू टेक ए बैकअप ऑफ ऑफसेट्स एंड सेटिंग पैरामीटर्स वैलिडेट ऑल कंडीशन बिफोर यू फ्रीज अ प्रोग्राम इट मे बिहेव डिफरेंटली इन डिफरेंट कंडीशन एंजॉय द वर्ल्ड ऑफ मैक्रो प्रोग्रामिंग First, let us see what is the meaning of macro. A single instruction that expands automatically into a set of instructions to perform a particular task. So, a macro program is a small program which does the work of a large program. Macro program is also called parametric programming. variable programming custom macro etc let us see what are the applications of macro program it can be used as a single program for all the parts in a part family it can be used to make custom cycles for making difficult profiles and it can be used to make program for 2.5d profiles these sketches are examples for part family variables let us see this formula x plus 6 equals 10 in this x is a variable now in this sketch you can see a circle and radius and diameter is mentioned if you look at the formulas for a circle diameter of circle d equals 2 r circumference c equals 2 pi r area a equals pi r square so in all these cases you can see r is a variable when r the value of r is 10 then diameter is 20 circumference is 62.8 and area is 314.16 so similarly variables in macro programming is expressed by a numerical value preceded by symbol hash example hash 100 let us look at one part family for a washer so in this sketch you can see the cross section of a washer od id and jumper you can have n number of washers with similar configuration with just change in od id and jump <laughs> if you want to make a program for this using the regular method program would be g0x102 00 positioning for facing g01x48f.1 so facing G zero X ninety four Z one repositioning for chamfer G one X hundred Z minus two end of chamfer Z minus seven body turning to seven mm G zero X hundred and two Z minus five retract by a small amount G twenty eight 
u0 w0 going to home same program if you want to make it ready for a part family so that just by entering this three four values your program for your next part would be ready so how to make the program for this part using variables or macro let us see we have to define the variables so in this case we have already explained in this part family the diamond dimensions which are going to vary with the different parts are od id and chamfer so let us take od as hash 100 so in this case let us take value as 100 hash 101 equals to there is a chamfer length hash 102 equals 50 there is id hash 103 equal to 0.1 there is feed rate in mm per revolution so the above program rewritten with variables would be g0 x hash 100 plus 2 so hash 100 is having a value of 100 plus 2 in 102 z0 next command for facing g01 x hash 102 minus 2 hash 102 is nothing but id minus 2 that means x48 f hash 103 hash 103 is speed rate then rapid retract to g0 x hash 100 minus 2 multiplied by hash 101 plus 2 why because 2 mm is our chamfer that is in hash 101 so 2 multiplied by hash 101 why because our dimensions are mentioned or x value is mentioned as a diameter so chamfer value is 2 mean in diametrical notation chamfer diameter would be 100 minus 2 times 2 that means 100 minus 4 so that will be in z0 position so now you want to calculate for z1 so another 2 mm down so that's why 2 multiplied by hash 101 plus 2 mean 4 plus 2 that means 6 that would be the x value then g1 x hash 100 hash 100 is your od z minus hash 101 so hash 101 is having a value of 2 so z minus 2 then z minus 7 then again retract 2 mm more than what is program now so g0 x hash 100 plus 2 z minus 5 g28 u0 w0 form command so you can compare this variable program and regular program so all the diameters are mentioned as a function of a variable so the diameter wherever diameter is directly mentioned directly calling that uh, variable and wherever there is some calculation involved reading that calling that uh, calculation so like that now whenever you want to make another part just change the values of od id chamfer length and feed rate that means hash 100 to hash 103 now let us look another part family it's a rectangular block where we will be doing the milling operation a regular way of doing this is g01 x0 y0 then y50 f500 x100 y0 x0 and then taking the tool up 
G01 is at 5, G28, G91 is at 0, going to home. So, how we have taken the coordinates is like this. This is my 0, x0, y0, y50, x100, y0, x0. So, the same thing if I want to take using a variable hash 100 equals 100 so that is my length hash 101 equal to 50 that is my width and the feed rate I am defining in hash 103 500 f 500 so g01 x0 y0 then g01 y hash 101 so in this case hash 101 equal to 50 so in effect this y hash 101 will be equal to y 50 f hash 103 103 is 500 so f 500 x hash 100 hash 100 is 100 so x 100 then y 0 x 0 then other things similar to this program so this is how part families are defined so if you are doing similar kind of part again and again you need to make the program only once then what you need to do is only changing the parameters whatever macro variables you have defined just changing those variables what is given in the drawing we have you have to input the values as it is mentioned in the drawing once you define that your program for the next part family member would be ready now this is a table to show what are the different types of variable hash 0 is a null null variable that means there is no value hash 1 to hash 33 are called local variables local variables can only be used within a macro to hold data such as the results of operation what happens is when the machine power is turned off this local variables are also initialized to null mean that value is not stored in the memory now hash 100 to hash 149 that is common variables so we will be using this common variables most of the times common variables can be shared among different macro programs when the power is turned off this hash 100 to 149 are also initialized to none null whereas variables hash 500 to hash 531 the data is even kept in memory even if you switch off the power and the variables above hash thousands are system variables system variables are used to read and write a variety of NC data items such as the current position and tool compensation values now for making programs we will be using common variables hash 100 to hash 149 